Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Urban Legends video. Alright, let's go ahead and let's do one last entry here for this go around. This one having to do with a suggestion that was over two years ago. And I remember seeing it at the time and I think it's been suggested probably once or twice more. And I thought to myself, I'd always come back to the suggestion because it is a pretty fascinating entry. So lo and behold, uh, it looks like I was able to find it yet again and showcase it here. And this one is something that is either absolutely 100% debunked, and I'll explain that here in a minute, or it's the opposite. that still has people, uh, a good number of people, in other words, explaining that it's something else, that it truly is, in this case, a so-called spaceman. So even with a lot of evidence pointing to the debunked side, here we have something where people still cling on to the belief that it is indeed a true urban legend. And it has to do with this. You're looking at the famous photograph now. I'm sure you've seen it probably somewhere in your life too. It's one of those things where it just comes about every couple of years. It just gains new set of interest and then fades away and then comes back afterward. It's known as the Solway Firth Spaceman. So let's go ahead and let's talk about the fascinating info associated with this urban legend. And then later on, I'll give my thoughts, too, on the, uh, the debunked status and why I tend to degree, agree on that as well. So what was the Solway Firth Spaceman? It has to do with an encounter that happened at a location uh, near Solway Firth in Cumbria, England, hence the name of this urban legend. More specifically, you'd have to go to a very spot, uh, particular spot known as Burr by the Sands. And it encountered this thing uh, was done on May 23rd, 1964, by a gentleman by the name of Jim Templeton, who was there at the time with his family. So here's what happened. On that fateful day, this guy who was a firefighter from that area or from that location, he was able to go with his family, which consisted of his wife and then also his five-year-old daughter at that time, to those grassy fields. In fact, you're looking at some of the pictures of that location here now. It's a big area, absolutely huge. And the way it overlooks that other place there, I mean, you could see far off into the distance. Beautiful looking location. You know me, I love those large abstract landscapes, the ones that look very desolate, very minimalist, where you just have a large plain flat land going off into the distance. So this would be a perfect spot for me to, to go visit as well. Well, he was there taking pictures of his family, various pictures, in fact, of them. And he stated... To, that to this day, he was there only with his family, and somewhere else nearby, there was a couple of old women sitting in a car, but they, in turn, were at the far end of some marshy area, so and truly, if you wanted to get down to specifics, that family, consisting of Jim, his wife, and his daughter, were the only ones there uh, around that spot. So he was there taking a couple of pictures and, and nothing seemed out of the ordinary at that point. He simply took his pictures. He asked his daughter, uh, in particular to take three sets of pictures with her in a very specific pose. And his daughter's name was Elizabeth. And so she complied and everything was good. However, when he got the pictures back, in this case, it was the older times there, 1964, remember where you had to send the photographs to be developed and then you'd have them sent back to you. Well, when he saw the photographs, he was shocked, absolutely shocked to see what you're looking at now. In one of those pictures, in particular the middle picture, there was this. There was this, for all intents and purposes, spaceman that was in the background of the of that pose that the daughter was doing at that time. He, of course, stated, Jim Pultevin stated, that there was nobody there. He insisted he did not see anybody when they were when that pose was being done which makes sense because you would truly see something like this stick out i know that there's that there's the idea that sometimes if you're so focused on something that you're not going to see the surrounding areas still though something like this where you would have this weird looking spaceman figure who looks like it's somebody from almost like a bad sci-fi b slash movie that you want that you see late at night somewhere in there floating it looks like in the air as well and 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 have it be right behind your daughter no less in this case the focal point being straight forward as opposed to somewhere on the left or the right it makes sense that he would have seen somebody like this but no he stated no he did not see this figure and so once he showcased this photograph 
to some of the people around it. And in fact, he stated that he showed it first to the police who examined it and they told him that there was nothing suspicious about it. Then he showed it to a local newspaper, a place there called the Cumberland News. They picked up the story and then afterward, that was it. It took off. Even back then, such circumstances could go viral. And within hours, he stated it was pretty much all over the world. And then ever since then, since that time period, 1964, over five decades in this case, um, it's still gaining traction to this very day. I imagine that people go to that location as well to try to find the exact spot where the picture was taken to try to see if maybe something else could be explained regarding these circumstances. And he, in turn, uh, up until the day he died, because it looks like in this case he lived for a pretty long life, but he ended up passing away on November 27, 2011, Jim Templeton stated that it was hit to his conclusion, something involving a spaceman. It wasn't anyone else in his family. It wasn't anyone else on that field. Something just popped up right there in the middle of him taking that fateful picture with his daughter. And ever since then, his life wasn't really the same. In fact, it got to the point where he stated that at one point, he had two men who who came by who told him they were from the local government and they could, for lack of a better term, be uh, interpreted as men in black. They did not showcase him any ID, but they demanded to have them to have him follow them to take him to the site where the photos were taken. And when he did so, that's when they in turn tried to get more information from him. But he had to tell them that, no, he did not see the figure when he was taking that particular picture. So they in turn left him there and they drove off actually without taking him back home and he had to walk home. But when that happened, and this was shortly after the photograph went viral the very first time, he in turn, uh, Jim Templeton stated that he thinks that, that they were like probably people pulling his legs. They were somebody that were making things up. But still, he still up until his, the day he died was receiving letters from around the world with people offering all sorts of explanations, trying to figure out what exactly what this thing Thing was if you want to know how far this thing got eventually um, he even uh, got a letter from someplace stating that there was a missile launch a blue streak missile launch that was going to happen in South Australia but it was stopped this was a test in other words for a missile but it was stopped because uh, doing some kind of sur- uh, sur- surrounding area surveillance the uh, people there noticed that there were these two large men within the firing range so to make sure that there was no accidental like friendly fire or no deaths they had to stop it but when they saw who these two large men were they compared them to the pictures that that that, that are the picture for, of the Solway Firth spaceman and then that's when they in turn realized that this must be the same figure but here it is in this case in Australia so that's how far this thing got and it was of course interpreted in all around areas in the UFO world too so but give it a couple of time you know give it some time later and afterward people truly started to take a look at this picture to try to decipher it, to try to see exactly what the spaceman was. And lo and behold, it looks like it's been debunked. And the way it happened was this. All the all that all it was done was the photograph was carefully analyzed. First off, it is real. Like the photograph is real. It's not doctored. So the, uh, you can you can put that out of the way because nobody tampered with the photo itself. But that doesn't mean that it's a real spaceman. Instead, after the careful analysis, after 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 uh, darkening the picture, putting it into more uh, clarity, moving into higher resolution, it's been debunked to basically being this. It's his wife. His wife was the one that was behind the daughter when the pictures were being taken. And in fact, you're looking at a sample, in this case, of the analysis here. It showcases that if you were to take all this stuff in terms of the picture, higher resolution, darkening it, comparing it, in fact, with some of the other pictures that he took on that day as well, you'll notice that it's his wife. It's, it's his wife. It's somewhere in the background. In fact, she's been estimated to have been about 16 feet in the background there and it's just a victim of circumstances when it comes to this picture because of the shadowing because of the strong sunlight because of the overexposure and then because of the focusing that the camera did right there on his daughter it all culminated in his wife being changed in terms of her image into this so-called spaceman and again look at what you're seeing now and it makes sense like you can see how in other pictures her dress which was blue 
was also because of the strong sun oversaturated and to turning into white. On top of that, she was the only one there uh, at that time with him. So she must have been, as Mr. Mai is like behind him, behind a daughter, in other words, and kneeling downward, as you've seen in some of the other pictures, probably looking at the flowers, probably picking something up. Who knows? So when, so when she was taking those three or uh, when he was taking those three particular shots, that in turn allowed her to be behind the daughter and be unnoticed. And so when she stood up during that one simple click, uh, the camera was in turn focusing on the daughter and he was in turn focusing on the daughter too. And then afterward, uh, that that's when she probably went back down to do whatever she was doing down there on the ground. So that's all basically it is in terms of it being debunked. If you focus everything together and if you carefully analyze like how she looked and then compared it to some of the other pictures, that's the easiest explanation, which makes sense. And I tend to agree with this debunk status because it's just way too much circumstances that lead and point towards it. Um, even if there was a spaceman there, he would have seen been seen though by someone else, either by the by the uh, by the wife who was always nearby, presumably by them there, or even by those old ladies that were uh, somewhere nearby the car as well. Because if he had the spaceman floating around that area, somebody would have seen that, that spaceman there, even if they were only there for a couple of seconds. And again, I harken back to the very beginning, how if it would have been somebody like right there, right behind his daughter, uh, uh, like in terms of, 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 of being 16 feet away and that large, because the, from the size of the picture, again, it looks like it's a human size, but 16 feet away, it would have been much larger in uh, if it were only two feet away, because in order for it to be that tall, 16 feet away, you would have to account for it being much, much larger than, than a a regular person so this guy would have totally seen him but he would have ignored most likely seeing his wife because of the fact that he that she did not stand out when he when he was looking at his daughter at that time so but still some people truly believe that there was a spaceman that visited that location on that fateful day and when they when he did so for whatever reason the spaceman suit whether it was invisible or it was refracting light or something just happened to be caught at that very same exact moment and you'll see like for example like this picture how it's an analysis pointing towards the opposite pointing towards their truly being a spaceman there so but what do you guys think the soul wave firth spaceman is this truly uh, uh in this case a visitation of somebody from outer space maybe from the future maybe a human who's so who decided to explore 1964 on may 23rd and then somehow inadvertently ended up in this case in that man's photograph if that's the case please post your comments below uh, let me know what you guys think but um uh, to this day again it's still one of those controversial pictures. There will always be people defending it, and there will always be people, uh, you know, stating that it's fraud, that it's nothing, that it's it's truly, in this case, a debunk status. So you already know my position. So I tend to agree with the debunk status on here too. So, all right, everybody. Thanks again as always. Take care. Bye.